Hello my dear students. So I am here with the new topic that is effects of simultaneous changes or shift in demand and supply curve. Okay. So in the previous class we can say that uh, we have discussed what will happen or what will be the impact on equilibrium price and quantity when only the demand curve shifts and supply remaining constant. And we have done the another case also. If supply is changing and demand is remaining constant so two cases we have discussed now here we are going to discuss what will happen or what will be the impact on equilibrium price and quantity if demand and supply curve shift simultaneously we know that normally what happens that in market economy when demand changes supply will also change instantly okay simultaneously they will change and we can see that if demand and supply changes simultaneously there will be the three possibilities okay and we will discuss that three possibilities with the help of a diagram now the three possibilities so we will discuss one by one first possibilities we have when when equilibrium price remains same now i will show you the situation what will happen on equilibrium price and quantity if the price is remaining same so let's consider the initial demand curve we have DD and SS is the initial supply curve where demand and supply is intersecting each other at point E. So E is the equilibrium price and OP0, OP0 is the, OP0 is the equilibrium price and OQ0, OQ0 is the equilibrium quantity. Now what will happen if demand and supply changes simultaneously? when demand and supply changes by the same proportion now suppose say demand is changing by 10% and supply is also changing by suppose say 10%. supply is also changing by 10% so new demand curve we have D1, D1 and new supply curve we have S1, S1. Now if we extend this line we can say that at the same price, at the same price OP0 the quantity demand is increasing from OQ0 to OQ1. One second please try to understand this. Let's consider this dark line okay is the initial demand and initial supply curve. So this initial demand and supply curve is intersecting each other at point E. So E is the equilibrium point and OP0 is the equilibrium price, OQ0 is the equilibrium quantity. Now if demand and supply changes by the same proportion, suppose say demand is also changing by 10% and due to that change in demand, the supply of a commodity is also changing by 10% to overcome the market. So here we can see that demand is shifting uh, uh, demand is shifting towards a uh, right so we have new demand curve d1 and d1 and due to that demand increasing in the market supply is also increasing from s s2 s s1 now we have new demand and supply curve now if you see that new demand curve d1 d1 and s1 s1 supply curve they are intersecting each other at point subset e01 so at E1, we are getting new equilibrium price, okay, new equilibrium price that is OP0. So price is not changing, equilibrium point, only the point is changing E1, but equilibrium price is same, only the equilibrium quantity is changing. So equilibrium, equilibrium price, price is OP0, but equilibrium quantity we have OQ1. So the quantity is increasing from OQ0 to OQ1 but price is remaining same. So here equilibrium point is changing and the equilibrium quantity is changing price is remaining same. So this is the first case. Okay now we are going to discuss the second case when demand and supply changes simultaneously. Now suppose say initial demand curve we have DD and initial supply SS where equilibrium point is E and equilibrium price is OP0 and equilibrium quantity is OQ0. Now, if if the demand is changing by greater amount, then change in supply. So, suppose say demand is changing by 
a greater proportion suppose say d1 d1 is our new demand curve and supply is only changing by less proportion supply is only changing by subset less proportion and now we have new supply curve s1 h1 now we can see that the new demand and supply curve is intersecting here so we will get new equilibrium point e1 and at e1 we can see that the price rises from p0 to p1 okay price increases from p0 to p1 and quantity demand also increases from oq0 to oq1 so here quantity demand is increasing from oq0 to oq0 to oq1 and equilibrium point is changing from e2 e1 and equilibrium price is also increasing from op0 to op1 so this is the second case once again suppose say dd is the initial demand and ss is the initial supply so they are intersecting each other at point e so op0 is the equilibrium price and oq0 is the equilibrium quantity now what will happen on equilibrium point and equilibrium price quantity if demand and supply changes simultaneously but here what is the situation here demand is changing by greater amount and the supply is changing by less so this gap gap shows the demand is changing by greater amount and this smaller gap shows the supply is changing by small amount so when uh, this new demand and supply curve is intersecting each other at point E1 where equilibrium price we have OP01 okay it is increasing from OP0 to OP01 and equilibrium quantity is increasing from OQ0 to OQ01 so here we can see that when equilibrium point uh, is changing the price is also rising or price increases so this is the second case okay now we are going to discuss the third case okay in third case what we have to show that if supply changes by greater amount and demand changes by smaller amount what will be the impact on equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity so suppose say initial supply curve we have s s and initial demand curve d d and both are intersecting each other at point e so e is the equilibrium point o p 0 is the equilibrium price and o q 0 is the equilibrium quantity now if supply changes by greater amount suppose say supply is increasing from s s to s1 s1 and demand is only increasing by smaller amount okay d1 d1 is the new demand curve so this gap between supply and demand shows that the supply is increasing by larger amount and demand is increasing by only smaller amount now when we look at the picture we can see that the new demand curve d1 d1 and supply curve s1 h1 is intersecting each other at this point suppose say this point name is e01 so at e1 we can see if we draw a straight line on the price axis we can see that the price is decreasing and quantity demand is increasing from oq0 to oq01 once again if supply changes by greater amount and demand changes by smaller amount we will get the new equilibrium point e1 where the price falls from op0 to op1 here price is decreasing from price decreases from op0 to O P one, but quantity increases from O Q zero to O Q one. So these are the three possibilities that takes place when demand and supply changes simultaneously.